Welcome to this edition of the Western Fishing and Branch Partnership, the Fishing and Coaches. Certainly it's been my pleasure to be a part of this program throughout the course of the season. I do thank the Western Hockey League and the four branches, BC Hockey, Hockey Alberta, Hockey Saskatchewan, Hockey Manitoba, for all their help and dedication through these series. I think it, we've covered so much ground this season. We've talked about communication, how we communicate with the officials, what we look for, how we present it to them. So many things that we hope has helped you and ultimately helped the officials improve this season. It's so important for our officiating coaches and, and how we can provide input and keep the officials engaged and, and improving. It's just such a vital role that we that we play in this. Um, we'd certainly like to hear about some great coaching success stories from some of our partners and some of our officials. So let's hear from them. I don't think I would have gotten where I am today um, in the last three years. I have done so many amazing things, um, having so much support and coaching. A couple weeks back, I was skating ACAC um, and kind of just having those tips and tricks from some of the uh, referees and stuff during those games and post games, kind of just talking about it. Um, always helped me improve my game the next period and the following period after that. Um, so just kind of having their support and their tips and their coaching skills has always helped me um, from game to game. Time an officiating coach really helped me out was actually not very long ago, it was about two to three months ago. Uh, I discussed with one of my officiating supervisors about the difference between major penalties and match penalties. And the reason this helped so much was because not only did he just list what was off the rule book, but he actually gave me specific examples that helped me a lot and that he gave me some notes that I could reference at later dates and I've used them over time as well. Officiating coaches, they played a huge role in helping me have a, a great season on and off the ice. Uh, one thing mainly is I would say that the environment they create for their officials, it doesn't really feel like it's a job, it feels like we're more of a family all working towards a bigger goal. I would say just having a laughing and friendly environment is one thing that makes it a lot easier and helps you get your confidence up moving on to the next levels. Uh, I felt my supervisors really helped me work through uh, game management situations and communicating with the bench. Um, in order to like achieve the right scenario and outcome of everything that we've worked through. Um, as a new official working in new leagues, I felt that my supervisor really helped build my confidence and add tools to my toolbox to be used in games. Yeah, we had one time a um, guy came in helping us out, um, just gave us some pointers on positioning, working hard to get in the right spots, just skiing, just places to be and to see that he's better. Guys like you and other guys around the league help me grow, um, just being around us, giving us pointers, uh, mentors like that, they they continue to push and push you as far as you can go, so that's probably it. Um, one of the big games that uh, helped me from my officiating coaches was at the U17 AAA showcase here. Um, I was told that uh, my puck drops were a little off. I, they were, the players were getting a little ahead of my drop because of the way I was dropping it. So I was able to tone that and uh, make it a lot better so that the players don't get that edge on the puck or on each other and it helps out a lot more in my game and with their game as well. Uh, I would just like to thank them so much for pushing me forward, uh, really helping me get more confident in myself and my decision making. As I said, it's confidence is really big and being out on that ice, especially in new areas, new games, new levels, new pl players and other officials that you're working with, having that confidence behind you and in yourself is really big and I want to just thank them for helping me get so much more confident in myself and my abilities. I've had many experiences with many coaches, but one particular incident that sticks out to me as a coach really helping me was after the first period, the coach had come in and was talking to us about awareness in the game and keeping our heads up, being uh, present with our players and especially on puck drops, keeping our head up so we can stay both safe for ourselves but also call it safe and fair game. The coach asked, uh, challenged me, myself and my lines partner to play a little game to keep us both aware and engaged. And ever since then, I have felt more engaged and more supported on my puck drops and awareness of the game. Well, they greatly improved my confidence this year by reminding me that I belong at the level I'm working. They also did this by reminding me that my standard is up to par. By, and it's good by not undercalling it, but also by not overcalling the game. They helped me build up confidence and help me with the little things. Uh, they gave me ton tons of pointers that'll help me in games that actually matter. 
throughout the season. I was introduced to hybrid icing this year and I screwed up my first icing and then my supervisor told me after the period what to do better and he helped me through that and throughout the game I got better. Certainly some great points. The great thing about coaching officials is how rewarding it can be. You know, you think of the younger officials and how they, they are sponges and they learn from period to period and you can talk between periods about positioning and the next period or the next game, they're already working and improving. Certainly with our senior officials, it might be a longer growth because we're teaching them such finer points of officiating. But the growth we see from September to March, that is such a rewarding experience for us as officiating coaches and really why we do it. We're gonna get some great comments about why and how we should talk to other officials about becoming officiating coaches, why they should do it, what a great value it is for them, not only to give back, but to help, help the young officials, but also the joy they get out of coaching. Let's hear some thoughts. I had a number of years of officiating um, back in Saskatchewan. I was out of it for 25 years or so. And I think the reason I got back into it is just the enjoyment that it gave me um, when I officiated. I wanted other kids to get that same, same environment and same experience. Uh, I was able to work in a number of different exciting opportunities and tournaments and I think I just want to see the other or other officials have that the younger officials have that experience as well when the Western Hockey League or Alberta Junior Hockey League can give one of the officials that I coached um, a phone call and say hey we want to hire you or we want to put you into a game and I'll tell you, like the three or four, or five or six times it's happened so far, the kids phone and just the excitement in their voice is uh, just outstanding. Like it's it's really re rewarding that way. It's, it's a passion, um, and I always look back at it. It's I've had so many supervisors, officiating coaches, people helping me out along the way, and it's just one little way that I can give back. Um, to a sport that's given me so much. Just remember, someone took the time in the past um, out of their life to help you. And for officiating to be successful in the future, just remember maybe it's your turn to take the time to help the uh, up and comers coming up uh, today. I think if we can pull on the experience that former officials have to, uh, to just help out the new generation of officials we have starting up, it's just so good for the game and so good for our community. Uh, there's such a wealth of knowledge that everybody has and I've said it before There's no way you can see everything that could possibly happen in a hockey game just by working games uh, So having somebody who has their own experiences and can have conversations and can you know speak to What they would do on the ice in in that situation? Uh, that's invaluable for coaches. We're always looking for to help those younger officials uh, just because you stepped away on the ice doesn't mean that you don't have uh, expertise or you don't have a wealth of knowledge to share. Coming back into the rink and just helping out, being that, that person that will poke their head in, into the referee's room and, and say, hey, good job or awesome game or even helping out with the situation and providing that feedback is important. If you still have the burn and you enjoy watching a game, and I'll say this to you, if you watch a hockey game and you still watch it like a referee, you probably should think about coaching. Thank you, some great comments. Just wanna say thank you to everybody involved with this program. Thank you for the help in sending in interviews or video and all the help that you did to make this program possible. I wanna thank Alex in the Western League Hockey League office. You did a tremendous job putting this all together. Most importantly, I wanna thank all of you for, for being officiating coaches. We talk about from grassroots through minor hockey and into junior hockey. You guys play such an important role in teaching coaching officials. So to all the men and women who are out there every weekend, every evening in the cold rinks and the warm rinks, coaching our officials, thank you. I think it's really important that you spend some time away from the game, enjoying your family and friends, and maybe touching in with some of our younger officials and making sure they're engaged through the course of the summer and know the opportunities they have, whether it be summer camps or whether they're gonna get a different level next year, whatever it may be. But I think to re-engage with those officials as summer progresses is important for us as well. 
as we said at the start, thank you so much. We hope that you got a value out of this program and we cannot wait to get back in the arenas in September 2024-25 and continue to coach our officials and move our programs forward. Have a great summer.